Well, I want to bring in Dr. Tanya Haj Hassan. She is a pediatric intensive care doctor with Doctors Without Border. We appreciate your time today, doctor. Thank you for having me. So despite the communication issues connecting with Gaza, I understand that you have been able to speak to colleagues at Ashifa Hospital, the main hospital in Gaza. What are they telling you about what they've been dealing with these past few days? Yeah, so, uh, so just a correction on that. We have not been able to contact anyone at Ashifa Hospital for two days now. Uh, like, like you and the rest of the, the, the media world, we, we, we have lost complete contact. And last we heard, the, the situation was harrowing. This is prior to the, the actual invasion into the hospital. The hospital was under complete siege, surrounded by, by military tanks. The staff were not able to move even within the hospital. They described being shot out through the windows when they tried to maneuver through the, through the hospital corridors. They said that uh, two nurses were killed, shot through the window. Several patients were shot as well. And they described being uh, stripped of food, uh, running out of water. Uh, I think the exact words were people are screaming for thirst of thirst. Uh, they had uh, no access uh, to water either. And obviously the, the medical staff described being extremely concerned for their patients. Uh, the intensive care unit patients uh, unfortunately could no longer receive oxygen when the oxygen supply was hit. This includes both adults, children, and newborn babies, uh, the neonates. They weren't able to make, sustain the life-supporting equipment, the patients on dialysis, the same applied there. And uh, they were extremely concerned, and they were begging the international community to help them evacuate the patients and provide safety remarkably to their patients, even now in, 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 in the most harrowing times. The, the, the recurrent theme is uh, their desire and, and commitment uh, to protecting the patients. They also described uh, very, very harrowing scenes of, of the over 100 dead bodies that they were unable to bury. They, they dug one mass grave, um, I was told, and buried uh, 80 um, individuals there. And, and the rest of the bodies, they, they tried to reach to bury, but they any time they tried to access them, they, they uh, described being targeted and shot at. Uh, they also described having injured people within the vicinity of the hospital that they could not reach because the ambulance vehicles could not come and go without being targeted. Uh, so they were, they, I think some of the words we heard were uh, that they were unable to articulate what they are seeing. They were speechless, that these are uh, scenes that no creature can and should endure. Um, and uh, yeah, very concerning. And I think even uh, most concerning is the fact that w w we cannot contact them anymore. We cannot bear witness on what's happening. And that's uh, a fundamental principle of, of the organization I, I work for, Mensas Frontières, is témoignage, the, 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 the concept of, of bearing witness on these atrocities and relieving the suffering, suffering associated with them.